what's up everyone? This is Jaeger here and today I'm really excited to introduce to you one of the luxuries of Nanjing and that is Yunjing Brocade. Over 1,600 years ago, this precious fabric was used to create elaborate pieces of clothing which were used only for the royal family. Today, Yunjin is a part of UNESCO National Intangible Cultural Heritage List and it is a true luxury product. In fact, a couple feet of the illustrious fabric can retail for thousands of dollars. Today, we'll visit the Nanjing Yunjin Brocade Museum to learn more about how the fabric is produced and why it has remained such a valuable commodity over the years. Yunjin Brocade gets its name from two Chinese words. Jin represents the highest technical level of ancient Chinese silk textiles. And Yun translates to cloud, which represents the brilliant sheen and texture of the brocade. Master Zhou told me that Yunjin's vibrancy comes from the precious materials woven into its silk threads, such as gold, silver, and peacock feathers. So it has a very good thing, which is the gold, the gold, the gold, the gold, the gold. Through my discussion with Master Zhou, I have learned that the craftsmanship of Nanjing Yunjin Brocade requires over 100 steps, including using manufacturing looms, drafting patterns, preparing the materials, and many steps of weaving. Even with the perfect collaboration between two experienced weavers, only 5 to 6 centimeters of fabric can be produced in a day. The complexity of the craft is also one of the reasons for Yunjin Brocade's luxury status. If you count all these threads, silk threads, super, super thin. Yeah. 11,000 of them just right here. This is really expensive, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I really want to try. It's like driving a car. Too many colors, okay? Too many colors. This is actually very complicated. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> okay. Nanjing Yunjin Brocade is among the most famous brocades of ancient China. The Yuan, Ming, and Qing dynasties all used Yunjin Brocade exclusively on their royal garments. Today, it is still used to make high end attire and souvenirs. Oh, wow. Well, this is something really interesting. This is Mona Lisa, mm. but it's actually done using the technology of Nanjing Yunjin Brocade. Nanjing's Yunjin Mona Lisa is 10 times the size of the original painting, and it took four people four months to complete it. For me, I thought that this would be a treasure, but actually the treasure is about people, the masters, who are in charge of this great technology. The most remarkable transformation lies in the accessibility of Yunjin. In the past, Yunjin was only exclusive to the royal family. And now, through the continuous inheritance and innovation of a generation of craftsmen, everyone can enjoy Yunjin. And these details are so refined. The work is so exquisite. It took six months to accomplish this. Okay, I really want to try. Nanjing Yunjin Brigade is absolutely stunning. The artisans we've met have incorporated the legacy and history of their art form into every inch of fabric they touch. For me, wearing these Yunjin brocade pieces symbolizes the unique charm, culture, and deeply rooted heritage that belongs solely to Nanjing. <laughs>